Hey everyone, uh, it's uh, Zachary from the Saginaw Basin Land Conservancy and uh, today we have a pretty cool episode of Socially Distant Science and Adventure series uh, and this is actually going to be Ted uh, working on a bee hotel. He's going to teach us a little bit about native Michigan bee species and uh, how we can help them out uh, as pollinators start to emerge this spring. And this is a project that you can probably do with materials that you already have at home so you're probably not going to need to run out to the hardware store or the lumber yard for this one. Uh, so uh, give it a try and uh, see what kind of results you come up with. If you're able to build one of these and put it out and uh, actually get some bees using it, uh, let us know later on this summer. Take some pictures, uh, send them to us because we'd be uh, really excited to see that. Um, also, really quick, as long as I got you, um, you know, please be kind to each other out there, okay? So right now is kind of a, a rough time for a lot of different people and uh, here in Bay City, there's actually been some kind of negative things going on. Uh, downtown, there was a bunch of vandalism uh, the other night with uh, spray paint tagging all over everything and not even like like good street art kind of tag. I mean, we're talking just vulgar vandalism all over downtown and um, you know, on public property and on private property and it's just gross. And on top of that, um, our friends at Habitat for Humanity uh, had their uh, equipment trailer stolen with all of their tools uh, that they use to help the community. Unbelievable. And then uh, this morning we also learned that our neighbors, uh, a building that's a neighbor to our office, uh, a contractor had his equipment out there, a couple of trailers were all of equipment doing a remodel, and those were stolen last night. You're talking about a person's livelihood here. Uh, you know, that, that's extremely unfortunate. So uh, work trailers getting stolen, vandalism going on, and then I've also heard from our coworker Lisa that uh, there was some vandalism in her neighborhood and mutual estates out in Monitor Township there. And uh, of all things, uh, you know, house is getting TP'd right now when <laughs> toilet paper is at a premium. White gold, right? So, um, I don't know, I'm bummed about that. Uh, but the best thing we can do is put a smile on her face and persevere. And if you have any information leading to the um, you know, identification of anybody that's done any of these negative things, please uh, let the proper authorities know or uh, even feel free to send uh, us a, a direct message on Facebook here and we will pass that information on to people who would know how to help. Um, but that's a bummer. Anyway, um, so uh, just wanted to send out some positive vibes. Uh, big love from us at the Saginaw Basin Land Conservancy. Uh, big love to my coworkers. I miss them uh, here in my basement studio. Uh, but thanks a lot to Ted for uh, filming this little uh, video about manufacturing a bee hotel and helping out native pollinator species. And uh, also, hey, happy birthday to our Director of Land Protection, Trevor Edmonds. Uh, it is his birthday today, and um, what a bummer that we can't be with him, all right? Uh, so happy birthday to you, big guy. Uh, everybody else, hey, put a smile on. Watch this thing about bee hotels. Get together with your kids and try to save some native pollinators here in our beautiful state of Michigan, okay? Keep your chin up. Big love. Bye. <laughs>
Phragmites, honeysuckle, sumac, Joe pie weed. These are all hollow stem plants that bees might use naturally for their nest. Uh, the other main type of bee hotel that you'll see is made from a solid block of wood that has various sized holes drilled in it. And those holes could be anywhere from 332 of an inch all the way up to 3 eighths of an inch. And that provides enough of a cavity for the bee to get inside and build its nest. That's the method I'm going to show you today. You can use um, any type of untreated wood works fine. Um, at the Conservancy with most of the construction of our habitat boxes, we prefer to use untreated cedar. Um, but you could use even a stump or a snag that you found in the woods. What's most important though is that it's at least four inches thick because the holes that you drill should be at least three inches thick and that provides enough room within the cavity for the bee to go in and, uh, pr and create their habitat. So what I have here is uh, some old lumber from a cedar fence that we removed. Um, it's uh, solid cedar lumber. It's non-treated, so it's perfect for the situation uh, we're going to use it for, for the bee hotel. Uh, the 4x4 four four post will be the actual bee hotel itself, and I'm going to cut a section from the actual fence board to use for the roof. For the bee hotel, we'll take a section of about 10 inches or so, and then on the one side, I'll cut a 15 degree angle so that when we put the roof on, it won't pull water. It'll allow the water to run off, and it'll protect uh, those openings from the rain. You don't need to. Okay, so what we did was we took our 4x4 post and we just made two cuts. We cut one side flat, and then we cut the other side with a 15 degree angle at the top. That is so that when we take our other piece of repurposed cedar fence, we can put that on the top, and it provides a little bit of shelter from the weather for the bees as they go in and out. Okay, so now we're ready to drill our holes in the front of it that provides those cavities for the bees. So I've got a couple different size bits we're gonna use. I have a 3 8 bit, and I have a 5 16 bit. So we're gonna go ahead and drill um, just at random pattern, uh, a number of different holes of those two types in the front. And then, um, and then after that, the only other step to, to uh, complete this is to attach the roof. And then we need to put some type of screw or attachment on the back so that we're able to hang it on a tree and that's about it. Okay, you wanna drill the first hole? Okay, here, go ahead. Hold it down. Okay, so what you see here is now we have our wood block with a series of various size holes for bees to make their cavity. Uh, the last thing we need to do is try to clean up the edges just a little bit to allow them a little easier access. So all we're going to do is take a small piece of sandpaper and wrap it around a pencil and we're going to use that to clean up our holes. So go ahead and help me out. Okay, so that's a little bit better. The holes don't have to be perfect. You, as you can probably understand, the bees aren't going to find perfectly shaped holes in, uh, in their natural environment, so these don't need to be perfect either. But it makes it look a little bit nicer and provides the bees a little bit easier access to get inside. So now, last step is to attach our roof that we've made. Okay, so the last thing to do is to attach our roof to the bee hotel. And the size of the roof is not particularly important. It just needs to have some overhang. Uh, on either side to uh, provide a little ha or, uh, shelter for the bees as they go in and out. So I'm going to go ahead and get the nails started, and then I'm going to let my helper team here pound them down the rest of the way. So, watch out buddy, and I'm going to get this one started for you. Step back, Roman.
Very good. So now we have our finished B Hotel. So we are ready to go hang it up. Um, when hanging something like this, um, these, uh, these bees are above ground nesters. Like I said, they nest in cavities of trees or plants. So we're going to look for a spot that is protected from the weather. So typically on the south side of your house would be a, a good location to think about and we want it to be um, about five or six feet above the ground. Okay, so it's a little windy out here, so sorry for that, but we are on the south side. This is the southwest side of, um, of our property, and it's right near an open marsh and lots of pollinator plants, so it should be great habitat for bees like mason bees and leafcutter bees. And we're gonna go ahead and hang it about six, seven feet off the ground um, right here.